Hello, I'm Andrea and in this video I will show you how to overcome the polycount export limit of Maya LT. If you are an Autodesk Maya user, you will know that Maya LT has a trace count export limit for all your models of 200,000 trees. So, this means that uh, if you have uh, a quite heavy model like this one, you can't export it. However, there is a workaround for it. To show you how to do it, here I have uh, this uh, sci-fi ring that is uh, a bit heavy, uh, 500,000 uh, trees more or less, because uh, on the inside there are Mm, some planes for displacement, so they must have a lot of uh, polys. And I want to export it. How to do it? It's simple. You export it to a Unreal or Unity project folder. Now, in my case, I use Unreal, or well, I have Unreal installed on my PC, so you simply create an Unreal project, a blank project, doesn't matter if it's for a desktop or mobile. I already made one that I called test scene. So I simply select my model, then go to file, X, send to Unreal or send to Unity if you, have, if you use Unity and then uh, you choose selection. If you choose all, it will export everything uh, on the outliner. Everything that is in your scene. But in my case, I only want the ring, so center real selection, then navigate to your um, Unreal project folder in my case it's called test scene then give it a name like um, I don't know a ring and export selection okay now you will have it uh, in your project folder in my case test scene ring and here it is uh, you can take it and uh, put it whatever you, uh, in whatever folder you want and that's basically it. As I said, uh, this is um, a completely fine method. It's not illegal or it's not an exploit or whatever. It's also written uh, on the Autodesk site, I believe. So if you enjoyed this video, Leave a like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.